Oh. Wow, look at this. I'm back in Lake Havasu. Oh my gosh. Whirlwind trip down to Quartzsite. Such an incredible area over there. This is really my favorite camping spot. I mean, just look at that sunset. Every time I come out here, Lake Havasu has the most amazing sunsets. So, I left Quartzsite. I was down there for just the beginning of the RTR. Honestly, there wasn't a lot else about it that I wanted to go to. It was that first day of the rigged tour that I wanted to see. Um, so I've come back up here because there's a balloon event starting tomorrow. And I just want to show you a little bit about what Quartzsite is like. For those who haven't actually been to Quartzsite and who are kind of interested in Quartzsite. Honestly, Quartzsite is a quirky town it's not a pretty town by any stretch of the imagination, but it happens to sit in an area where it's very easy to take an RV and camp out during the winter. So I'm going to just show you kind of the main drag and some of the market areas just to kind of get a sense for what that's like. <laughs> Put this in. So far in this RV, I haven't forgotten to uh, stow that, but I had my past past RV a couple times. Uh, forgot about this. I left this out to dry. I cleaned my solar panels off with this thing, and don't want to forget that. Okay. Well, I am taking off. I'm going up to Lake Havasu. There's a balloon festival that starts tomorrow in the city that I want to go to. So I'm leaving my friend. We got the solar panel installed yesterday. So my friend has a bunch of solar panels on his and he's done a bunch of solar install. So he's going to be helping me. So we're going to be putting it basically right along here which I'm very, very grateful to for him. And uh, I got some experience in doing that. Shall we go? Let's go, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is kind of scary, but at the same time, it's good. Oh, that's cool. Look at this guy. How fun is that? So I guess we're good to go on the roof and I can do my connection layers. I got some oh, tape so you on. just got the tape on. Yeah, I just so want to make sure they don't touch each other. Just I don't want to take any chances at all. Okay, and then the trickiest one. At some point I may add a second 180 watt panel, but for now it's sort of my secondary setup. So, uh, I'm gonna actually go back towards Lake or to Quartzsite, go to the RV pit stop, get some fresh water. If you come into Quartzsite and you've never been here before, RV pit stop is one of the great places to dump your tanks and get fresh water in town. It's really, really easy to find. They've got several dump stations and filtered water. I think it's like six bucks if I remember correctly. Yeah, so uh, Quartzsite is interesting. What I wanna do is just show you some of the pictures and images of what Quartzsite is like in case you've never been to Quartzsite before. Quartzsite is not the prettiest town. It is not a kind of town that you would go to and you would say, oh, this is a quaint little old town that has a cute little vintage downtown. It's not like that at all. So this is Main Street and the intersection of Central Boulevard. This is sort of right in the middle of Quartzsite. And as you follow along, you go over this 
bridge over the freeway, and right on the other side of that is Prospector's Square, just a great big marketplace with everything you can think of. And then off in the distance are several LTVA camping areas. So this is Prospector Square. This is the main sort of area where people come and buy and sell everything you can imagine. And of course, Portside wouldn't be complete without a hadrosaur sculpture. <laughs> this is the other side of the freeway. Main Street is over there. Many more shops. Some restaurants. Everything you can think of is over there. Not the prettiest town, but it sure is quirky and fun to be here. Check this out, Tyson Wells Stage Station Museum. This was a stage stop between Eilenburg and Wickenburg and points east. Travelers in the 1870s and 80s made their first stop here on the eastward journey from the Colorado River. This is the Roadrunner Market. This is the sole grocery store here in Quartzite. This turn is harrowing. Yay, I didn't scrape. No scraping. So I also found a petroglyph site near a quartz site, just within a hop, skip, and a jump of one of the campground areas called Dome Rock Campground. And Dome Rock is just kind of on the opposite side of town where I'm at. And it's actually a little bit closer into town than, than where I'm at here. I brought my scooter out here. This is an area called Dome Rock and I wanted to come out and explore this. This is just another camping area that I haven't really been out to, but I heard about it. And so you can see just lots and lots of people out here. Quartzite is just down this road. While I was looking for the location of the Dome Rock camping area, 
I noticed on Google Maps, it said that there was a petroglyph location quite close into town called the Indian Grinding Pots. So it was a combination of grinding pots that were used by people many thousands of years ago, I'm guessing, to grind up their grains. And then petroglyphs, just a short distance from that, I took my scooter as far as I could take it in sort of a dirt terrain area. And then I walked the rest of the way and I found both the grinding pots and the petroglyphs. Boy, look at this out here. I rode my little scooter out here carefully. <laughs> oh boy. And I was a little bit worried to be super muddy because it rained quite hard over the past day or two. And look at this. Look at the rocks. They were exposed by the water coming through here. Okay, it's right ahead. According to my phone. Look at this. So if we come over here. Right down here on this little rocky outcrop filled with water because of the rain or the grinding those go down about nine inches they're deep so I've got one small one two three four and then a big one there five at some point in the past I don't know, 1,000, 2,000 years ago, humans were out here making food, grinding acorns, somebody was telling me. Isn't that amazing? And then that rock right there has the petroglyphs on it. So let's go down there. But those cooking grinding pots, as they call them, I guess, just this telltale sign of humans having lived out here a long time ago. So, look at this wash right here. It's gonna be harder to walk up. The other day I came out here to explore, talked to some other people who pointed me towards this. I can already see the petroglyphs. Remarkable, just it's remarkable because you almost don't see them until you look at them and then they jump out at you. Look, you see as we walk around the corner, there are some other ones that emerge. And then when we walk around over here, to the side, and then some others over here. These ones are a little bit more faint, but they are still clearly visible. Then finally, when we walk around the back, there are more visible from this angle.
and so I'll show you some of that. That's always fun to go see a petroglyph site. And it also happened to have a really nice sort of vantage point of the valley, this valley that Quartzsite is in.